YouTube, what's up? It's your boy who is King Sean, and we back again with another classic. You know, on this channel, we talk about personal credit, we talk about business credit, we talk about anything to take you and your family to that next level. So today, I will be bringing you the Blaze Mastercard, just to let you know off the back. Um, this card is more for people that's in the range of a 550 credit score to a 600. If you have over a 600 credit score, you should not be applying for this credit card. I got a lot of videos on my channel for people that's in the 600 to 650 window that you get approved for. This is for more of the people that have the score in that graveyard that we talk, you know, six feet, 10, 12 feet deep, and you're trying to dig it out. This is for y'all, but again, you got a brighter future long as you keep your foot on the gas and you stay focused. Now, we're going to go through a couple things just to let you know, this will not be a soft pull. At one point when the Blaze MasterCard first came out, they was doing soft pulls, so let me just make it clear if y'all are misinformed, this is not this is not a soft pull. It will only be a soft pull when you get credit increases. So let's scroll right down here. If you're going to apply right here, get more with Blaze. Apply online, easy and secure. No hidden fees, no security deposit required. Keep your account in good standards with on-time payments, and you may improve your credit rates. So we're going to click right here. And we're going to show you right here within six months of having this card. And if you have this card in good standards, they will definitely give you a credit increase in six months automatically. And then right here, let's scroll down the blaze master card. This is a second chance credit card. So, you know, like I said, this is for people that maybe had problems on their credit in the past and they're in the phase of rebuilding or are you between that 550 and that 600. So let's scroll right here. The blaze. Unsecure credit card is to go to card for people starting rebuilding their credit. By keeping your credit card in good standards, you could get a credit line increase in a little as six months, like I was telling you. So let's go over a couple things. I want you to let you know something about this card. Now, with this card, you will not get rewards, you will not get cash back points, you will not get anything. Again, this is for second chance credit card holders people in the rebuilding phase. So right here, as you see, this will be a $75 annual fee to have this card. But I'm going to show you a little hack which you could do. Once you have this card for a year, it's two things you could do before I go into that. Um, the APR is a fixed rate at 29.99. And if you get a cash advance, again, it's 29.9. And um, cash advance transactions fees, 2% each advance. So that's just to let you know right there. So let's say you have this card, right? You're in the phase of rebuilding. You got between that 550 and that 600 and you're worrying about the $75 annual fee. Now, you will keep this card for the first year. They will charge you that 75. Go ahead and take the hit because you're trying to add more accounts to that credit profile. You're trying to get it stronger. You're trying to put that work in. You're trying to keep your foot on the gas. You're not trying to make excuses. Once that one year is over, it's two things that you're going to do with this card. You're going to call back customer service after they, after they slap that second annual fee on, and you're going to let them know that you would like to get this annual uh, $75 delete it off your account. They will ask you why, because you're interested in closing this account because you do not want to pay a $75 annual fee. You're going to be, you basically going to be bluffing them at that point. They will come back because at the end of the day, they want your service. They're going to tell you, listen, we can remove your annual fee long as you stay on as a customer. And at that same time, you will hang up after they agree to that. Now you're going to eliminate that $75 annual fee, right? And then you're going to call them back and you're going to let them know right here, this 29.99 uh, fixed rate APR, you're going to let them know, you know, you've been with them a year. You've been a great customer. You've been making all your payments on time, did not have any problems in that year. And you would like to lower your APR rate. Now I had two people um, that I helped out in the past. Um, they had this card for a year. I told them these hacks to do. They got the $75 removed the second year, and they got the APR rate dropped. 
Um, the first person got it dropped to, I think, 25.99, and the other one was like 26.99. It ain't much, but something's better than nothing. These are two little hacks that you could use. Just imagine if you get the APR drop, number one, then you get the annual fee taken away. This is a card that you could keep on your credit profile for a very long time. Yes, it's not to use. You might not get, you know, big credit limits. The max they're going on this card right now is $2,000. The minimum is $500. Uh, I seen one or two people with maybe $300, but the minimum approvals are $500. The max is $2,000. So again, people, we have to put in the work. We got to stop being lazy. We got to know if we want to get to that next level, we have to do certain things. And this is why I'm bringing you um, these kind of credit cards, these kind of uh, personal loans, business loans to get you in the door. It's up to you to once you get in the door and you get these accounts to take it to the next level. So let's go right over here. And then right here is going to show you the blueprint of the annual fee, 29 uh, 0.9 and then the annual fee and if you add anybody right here you can see if you add anybody if you get somebody maybe a wife a girlfriend somebody um extra card that annual fee be twenty dollars extra but again what i'm saying we're going to keep it just for you because you're in the rebuilding phase you're trying to add these accounts after that year go ahead and get it deleted this is simple and this is easy now let me show you the application we're going to go over here and then right here is a simple application. You're going to put your name, last name, email, your social security, address, any additional address that you have, your financial, gross, annual taxable income, or annual non-taxable income you're going to put there. Do you have a checking account savings? At this point, of everybody, everybody should have a checking and a savings account. It should not be any excuse. Um, if you rent or own your mortgage, your rent or mortgage, and then right there at that time, you will submit that application. So again, people, I'm letting you know, this will be a hard inquiry. It's up to you to do the work. I have plenty of pre-approval credit cards that you can apply for to see at least if you could get approved for if you go back on my old videos. But um, this was a requested credit card. I had a couple of people asking about it. They wasn't sure should they apply for it or should they not. Again, like I said, if you have over that 600 credit score, you should not be applying for this card. This is more for 550 to the 600 rebuilding. You know, like I said, this is a second chance credit card. Um, um, it don't have no benefits. It's nothing that's going to benefit you. It's only to get you in the door Keep that foot on the gas. I don't want to hear no excuses. They will be pulling, again, from TransUnion once you pull this trigger. Again, like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.